Hey everybody, how's it going? How about we go toe to toe with the Looking Glass Knight or the Mirror Knight? Man, I really like this guy. This is uh, this is one of my favorite bosses in this game, actually. Just the way it's set up, the way he looks, uh, the way the fight goes, all out in the rain and thunder and everything. Yeah, it's it's just neat. All right, having gone through all the hoops that we needed to go through here in the castle to finally get the key to the door that leads down this hallway, all right, we've now opened up our way to get to the Looking Glass Knight. Now, this uh, long hallway here, um, it has statues lining either side of it that will come to life, kind of like the gargoyles in Skyrim. We did the uh, Dongar DLC, but anyway, uh, kind of what they remind me of. Um, now, I'm going to uh, go the easy route and just snipe these guys because... Uh, their resistance to arrows is like really, really low. And it just makes it easy. Just get them out of the way ahead of time. You gotta remember which ones they are, but uh, I believe there's four of them. Four of these statues will actually uh, jump up on you. Um, now, keep in mind, they drop the, uh, I believe the stone twin blade. It's a possible drop from these guys. So you might want to try, uh, if you're looking for that weapon, you might want to try putting on your gold serpent ring and jester's hat and whatever else you have. And, uh, getting your loot drop chance up and farming these guys. Uh, but I, you, I believe you have to fight them in melee. I've never gotten a drop shooting these guys with arrows. I'm not looking for that weapon, so, you know, uh, for the sake of the video, to make this fast, get these guys out of the way. But uh, like I say they don't have a lot of health. They hit pretty hard. Because like I say, they're carrying the stone twin blade. And as far as twin blade blades go, uh, the thing is uh, pretty amazing, actually. I believe it has like a really, really high durability as opposed to the regular twin blades, which wear out about the second time you use them. And these do uh, quite a bit of damage as well. And they look cool. But, uh, in fact, I believe they looked, uh, I believe they look just like that, actually. It's like what you see in their hands. So I get this last knight out of the way and uh, see if there's not a summons here. Uh, another cool thing of note about this boss is that uh, if you are an invader, and uh, I'm not sure how it works because I haven't personally done it, but I believe you can uh, play as an NPC that the boss summons in here too. So it has a little of the demon soul thing going on here too, where you can essentially uh, play as either the boss uh, or the uh, or the player coming through. Anyway, it's uh, it's neat from what I've heard you can do with this thing. If uh, Now, I don't know if you have to lay your uh, red chalk stone, and then if somebody uses it, then they wait till they get into the boss battle itself to fight you, or I'm not exactly sure how it works. But I've just heard you can do that. So if, if that sounds fun, like something you'd want to try, you might want to look into that. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do this thing. Okay, now, I, you know, I, I don't think I've ever been able to dodge that first attack of his uh, for some reason. I, I can't ever time it right. It's, it's weird. I had to jump way too early or way too late or something. I really dig that shield he's got, and uh, especially when he summons an NPC with it. Or like I say, a, or a player. Now, it seems like one time that I fought this guy, but I think it was in uh, New Game Plus, or maybe even Plus Plus. Um, it seems like he did summon uh, an actual player, because it didn't look like the NPC fans. I mean, we, my MO is to always take care of the summons as, as soon as possible, just to uh, basically just, uh, you know, gang up on him. As soon as he spawns. But uh, I believe uh, we did get to fight a player one time in here. It didn't last long. He didn't stand much of a chance. So I, uh, yeah, I had my summons with me, and yeah, we both had the same thing in mind. As soon as he, as soon as he pops up, take him out. And uh, I don't know if I, if I was uh, doing the invading thing. Honestly, I might consider uh, getting here just to do this. There he goes. There's the summons. Yeah, I think this is so cool, man. Now, just imagine that this could be a player. This could be you, you know. I, I actually, the more I think about it, that actually sounds pretty cool. But I guess he summons one. Summons one of the Havel wannabes, like you find on across the bridge on the way to the uh, to the chariot boss. I guess that's essentially what that NPC was. I know he's carrying one of these really cool great swords. Okay, I better heal up quick. Yeah, 
And now I remember when he when he goes to do that attack, just sprint around, and he's pretty much set on the uh, direction he's gonna he's gonna throw that attack about the time that he starts to go into the animation. And uh, it, it covers a decent AOE, but if you're out of that, then there's there's really nothing he can do. It's not like it's gonna follow you or anything. All right. Would have been nice to have a Sunbro here to help him get a medal, but uh, oh well. And uh, there's a really good loot chest here, too, on the other side. It's kind of out of the way. Make sure there's nothing I'm missing right here. But uh, before going down the elevator, check around one of these little side paths here on the other side of this short little wall. Yeah, there it is. And that's a good amount of stuff. Spell, a bonfire ascetic, and a spell quartz ring, plus two. I mean, yeah. <laughs> nice chest. Take a look at the view here. Love the rain. The rain and the thunder and all that. That's pretty cool. Alright, now we're going to take a very long elevator ride. Something pretty common to this uh, Drang Lake Castle is really long elevator rides. Alright, I don't know what this reminds me of. Whether it be Lost Isleth or the... Uh, Oh, what's the place where you join the Dragon Covenant in the first Dark Souls? At the base of the uh, the big tree. Oh, oh, what is that called? Um, with the sand, the beach, and there's a Hydra down there, and uh, a lot of dragon scales. And then you can join the Dragon Covenant. Cut off the guy's tail for the dragon sword. Oh man, I do not remember the the uh, name of that area. It's, but it's a cool area. So like the entrance here kind of reminds me of that. It also kind of reminds me of the first Dark Souls DLC. The uh, Artorius DLC, sort of. I don't know. I mean, there's some loot down there, but it's a hidden path that is uh, a little farther on. I think that's like a Twinkling Titanite or something. All right, can't knock it down with arrows. All right, and there's our bonfire. There's a good break point, a uh, resting point, and we'll go from here. This is going to be a really long area. This is going to be a really long video, the next one, because... Uh, uh, even if I didn't die, it would still take a while to get through it. Alright, but that's good for now, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care, thanks for watching, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Alright, y'all take it easy. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. I put links to more Dark Souls in the top box, and for complete listings of all my videos, click on the bottom box. And to subscribe and join the Ninja Flip, smash on that button up top. You can also follow on Facebook and Twitter to get notified when new videos are up. The links are below in the artwork and in the About section. Y'all take care.